This can here was manhandled, absolutely mangled. It lost the war with the trash truck. Now, when you see this video, you're gonna feel the same way I do. It just ain't right. Yeah, it was a full-on beatdown on my trash can. Trash collection day Monday did not go well for this trash bin in PB. As you can see, the mechanical arm grinding it across the pavement repeatedly before turning it upside down and slamming it into the ground over and over before the bin was tossed aside and almost run over as the truck left. I see this trash can has got a hole in it. It's on its side. There's trash all over the place. So homeowner George Bacon on Wilbur Avenue checked his alley cam to find the culprit and he was surprised. I would have thought the guy would at least got out and tried to fix what was going on. And he just left, he just left it there with the mess all over. He didn't even empty the other trash can, so I'm still waiting on that. With a broken bin and trash still sitting in the other one, he filed a get it done report. I clicked on the category for uh, misconnection, miscollection because they didn't have a, a category for a murdered trash can. I contacted the city of San Diego's Environmental Services Department. They found the report George filed, but they needed the serial number for the broken bin, so I gave it to them. Their records indicate the can is seven years old. George disputes that, and according to them, it'll cost $49 to replace. I talked to neighbors who say they're not surprised. Oh, heck no. I live down the street, and we've had the same thing happen, and every time it happens, you have to pay for it out of pocket to get a new trash can. When you didn't break it yourself, the city broke it. Blue and green bins are free, by the way, but brand new black ones cost $70 from their office here on Miramar Place. They come with a 10-year prorated warranty. That means bins older than 10 years are full cost to replace, but if they're under the 10-year mark, they prorate the cost by $7 per year. It it ain't right, and it's just the city being the city. I mean, really? As for how the driver handled the situation, Director of the Environmental Services Department Renee Robertson said, quote, the driver's actions displayed in this video are completely unacceptable. She goes on to say, we value our city employees, and we know that the vast majority of them are hardworking people who deliver excellent customer service every day, end quote. In Pacific Beach, working for you, Brian White, CBSA.